Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picked up here shortly after our last episode. It is July 14th, 11.20 a.m. Picking up here with our protagonist, Lance Cannon. Mechanic from Tandil. In our Tandil 10 years later solo to server run. Just about to head into the, uh, what I assume is the TV station. We checked a few of the TV vans, or the radio vans, at the end of the last episode. We're going to see if we can't push inside this building today. Check it out. Um, we are not that far from home. Uh, home for us, our spawn house. It's just on the other side of this building. So we're still within the same neighborhood. Got some other... Interesting looking buildings down there. Let's see what's behind this fence. Okay. Well, that looks like it's a restaurant. Alright. Let's pick a window to go through. The uh, door is barricaded. Got a couple windows that are accessible here, though. Um, but going into some cubicles, which is a little sketchy. Let's take a look at some of these other spots. This actually might be the safest place to go in. Definitely someone on that window, so we're not going through there. Here, that could be a possible entry point as well. Let's remove this. And I'm actually going to go back to the other side and remove some broken glass on that side too for uh, an exit point if we need to uh, hustle out. I'll do this one right here. Or vice versa, we'll enter here, exit over there. Alright, let's get out of this maze. Barricaded, okay. That's the first one. We're not gonna have any lights in here, so we might want to get out our torch. Yeah, let's be on the safe side. Get a little bit more light. Uh, we might find some more matches, lighters, cigarettes in these desks. Keep an eye out there. Alright, let's um, go room by room here. It's 12.30, so we got a fair bit of time. But we gotta go back for the night. Uh, we do have computers in here too, so... Good spot for dismantling and getting electronic XP. Uh, we got water to take back. Now, one of the new mods we've got should. Yeah. One of the new mods we got um, sets a random amount for the water in these uh, dispensers. And sometimes they won't be uh, clean water either. I don't know how we can tell if it's clean or not, but that one only has one unit. Pretty much empty. Let's see, let's check over here. Bathroom. Uh, garbage bag, let's take that. Lots of room in our backpack. Telephone bank here we can dismantle. Nothing in the vending machine. Must be a smoke break area out here. Dismantle that. Let's take care of these two. 
Oh boy. Attic. Sprinters are gonna be our biggest problem in this series. They feel like they're very fast. Uh, oh, there is a down gate there. We can get out of here, okay. Let's head back in. Good to know. I'm gonna dismantle this stuff. Four telephone banks here. We're getting pretty hungry, so we should stop for some food here. This is 9 XP. Assemble another one. It does take a little bit of time without the fast forward, so might not do them all. But that's a decent amount of XP. Definitely come back here over time and continue dismantling more stuff. Let's get our ton back out. The water. Alright, so we got stairs going up. Got what well, must be like a restaurant over there. The entrance. In there. Security door. Zombies. Uh, one seen us. Let's get this one. I get a key off of one of these. And some loose nails. Might be some food in here. Lots of coffee makers. Let's check the kitchen, then we gotta have our own food. Our own salami, rotten bacon. Oh, there's some coffee, nice. Time now, there we go. Let's get rid of this. Back up in here? No. Alright, food. Chips. Let's eat that. I like quite a bit of knocking. Gotta be upstairs. Careful here. Yeah, two of them. The 
this one, our hunting knife. Quickly grab that. There's a key. Or computers, let's check this dispenser back here. Does have twenty one. This is tainted. Okay, so it does give us a tool tip. Water, but no better than rainwater or pool water. Uh, let's just assemble one of these, just see how long it takes. Compared to the phone bank. About the same amount of time. And how much XP does it give us? So the phone banks gave us about 9. About 22 and a half. Let's see what we end up with here. About the same. All right, good to know. But yeah, we could definitely level up electronics here. There's more than enough computers. Got rain outside. Uh, exit with this way. Got some radios there as well. Just save our flashlight battery for a little while. Alright, another dispenser back here. Quick look, we're hungry again. Do one, okay, that's a decent amount. Uh, let's have this chocolate. Okay, so second floor, there's some water there. Be worth taking back. Good spot here for metalworking. All the filing cabinets. Oh, we do have some bookshelves too. Looks like they might be empty. Oh, advanced carpentry. Grab that. Alright, let's just make sure we clear all these rooms. So we know there's something behind us. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy was a bit scary. <laughs> This one. Utility room. Or storage. House trap. Be useful. Bunch of chairs. Damn, no snacks though. More phones. Alright, let's go up on our floor. 5 p.m. 30 degrees inside. I haven't uh, seen any overheating yet though. No exhaustion or fatigue. On the right. Straight ahead. Now let's see through those vines. Yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of computers and radios in here. Not be much else. And water dispensers, I guess. Fair number of those.
Oh, wow, look at that rug. Oh, here we go. The executive lounge. We got a nice rug for a base. And a, uh, there's an actual studio. Big soundboard. That's kind of cool too. Let's be a custom tile. Trapping. I take all this stuff. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Fifty-seven. Okay. Our potential. Yeah, lots of cool equipment up here. Lounge. More books. Carpentry for. Tronic magazine. Some mini fridges. Nice bourbon wine. All right, good. Extra drinks for. It's nice or whatever. Master fishing and farming. Alright, bag's getting kind of full now. Yeah, decent amount of books still here, hey? Alright. Move on up. Like that rug. more down here. Thought I saw one more. Checking for any medicine in these bathrooms. Might be one in there. Nice, there we go. Finally, something from a bidding machine. Server room. I wonder if we get anything from these server. Oh my god, look at these. Damn. Yeah, servers. Electrical four to take. Let's try disassembling one of them. Or we end up with 36. About as long as a uh, computer or phone bank again. Let's see. About nine as well. Cool. Time for another smoke. All right, let's open oh, one more floor. Seven twenty. We made it to the roof. But it's barricaded. Okay. Now, should I take water dispenser now?
grab this one. It's a good one, right? At 10. All right, let's uh, bottle off. That up. We can start collecting this stuff. Or even combine the bottles as we go down. Ah, right, you know what? Let's just go down with this. Um, down. Where's the stairs? Down here. All right, we're on down. Okay, let's go at the back way. Thirty-three degrees outside, and we're immediately warm. Let's put this under a secondary. That in there. Okay, let's get back home. One seen us. Might be able to get inside before they uh around here. Yeah, we're good. Just a slight drizzle. Alright, let's take this upstairs. Oh yeah, I think we'll just leave this out in the hallway. There's even less now. <laughs> there was 10 before, now there's 9. We must have sloshed some around when we took this off. Okay. Get this stuff organized. Uh, what is what? These are the books. Hey, let's put our books in here. We've actually got quite a bit of books. Uh, not much we can actually read right now. Mostly later. Later on stuff. But good nonetheless. A bit of food though. Alright, electronics can go in here. in then we're gonna see if there's anything else that we can read right now I don't think there is let's see here nails garbage bags I'm gonna put all of our wine that we picked up in the bourbon White wine I uh, will hold the coffee on us I think Put that on us uh, and then another short blunt weapon let's see let's grab another nightstick here okay uh, tuna we'll have for dinner So one more location we can mark off the map. Uh, there is water in there though. So that would have been this building here. We will put a water symbol there.
Um, uh, what would we call it? Like dispenser bottles? Bolt dispenser. Alright, so tomorrow... Tomorrow, let's push up through the roundabout and see what it looks like up there as far as where we can secure or build a um, an outpost for the entrance into Tandil. Um, that away, let's check our books. So we need mechanic two and beginners everything else. Red electricity. Oh. Got some uh, magazine recipes though. Get those. And we're starting to get tired now, okay. So yeah, I'll read both of these. Uh, we'll get to sleep, then we'll come back in the morning and we'll head north. Next morning here, gonna grab some food. Don't have a whole lot of actually. So we'll grab the orange soda. And it is raining a fair bit. Um, I don't listen to the radio, but I'll do that when we get back. This might actually keep us cooler. So we will uh, have wet clothing. This might actually be good. A moderate rain. It's windy. This actually might be good for us. Okay, so we're going east and then north. Now, yesterday when we were walking back, I did see one zombie wandering around this road, so. Be mindful of that. Looks good right now. Oh, there we go. Switch back to our nightstick. It's another one. Let him come to us so we're not fighting blind. Paper. All right, let's push up here. This will be new for us. Let's be careful. We haven't searched that neighborhood yet. To the east. Well, there is a car key here for this car. Good chest, though. Got garages over there, it looks like. Alright, here's the roundabout. Oh, a tow bar. Hmm. That could be very handy. Especially for us being a mechanic. Weighs 20 though. Definitely not gonna take that right down. We should definitely mark that down. It'd be very handy for clearing the roads. Let's mark that quickly before someone else shows up here. Uh, let's use this, maybe? Tow bar.
All right. Well, I don't think it matters which way we gotta start going. So we'll end up coming around the other way on our way back. Let's check these. Still looking for a tire jack. Oh, another fire axe, though. We got the lug wrench. Just need the tire jack. Been very lucky with uh, fire axes. Got quite a few up here. Oh, got a crawler there, too. Let's grab them. Yeah, they saw us. Crawler all the way from Louisville. Long way to crawl. Alright, it's 7 a.m. Lots of time to make it around this roundabout. Just gotta be careful. Definitely be a few more sprinters out there. Slow and methodical. Tempting to use a shout, but I don't know. Oh, is he? No, oh, I thought I saw a runner. Okay, well here they come. All right, well we maimed one. And yes, they confirm. They do turn into fast crawlers. We were wondering about that last time. That is the case. So we're got to be very careful with that. Oh my god, let's go. Some distance. Okay, we're good. I was missing a few of those uh, ground strikes. On the crawlers. Got me a little nervous. All right, more radio vans, uh, but they are busted up. Should stop for a uh, quick bite here as well. We have that orange soda. Let's see if we can't do that now. breakfast. Oh, the rain has stopped. Alright, we're doing good. Another Martridge map. Uh, standard car battery. Let's mark that one down. Found a heavy duty battery last time. Let's quickly. Standard bat. 
good. Alright. Let's group here. Yeah, here we go. That's the entrance into town. We should do the base like in the middle of the roundabout. That'd be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, let's look at maybe another nightstick. Yeah. Excellent. There's a lot of trees there. We could definitely build something pretty quickly. Not sure what's further up there. Yeah, you know, they're a suitable location, but I'm kind of thinking the uh, roundabout might be nice. All right, a few more that way. Let's just take a little bit of a walk up here. Uh, good progress on light footed and sneaking. Getting close to level 5 short blunt. Stop for a smoke here after this one. There are some more buildings up here. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, we are in business now. Let's start doing our mechanic work. It's great. And nice, another wrench. With some gas. Missing a tire there. So there's gonna be any other uh, suitable locations up here. My first idea would have been to just build something like across the road. But seeing the roundabout, uh, now I'm thinking something in the middle of the roundabout might be cool. Well, there's the uh, Tandal uh, city sign, city limits. I guess the other option then would be to build it right here at the city limit sign. Okay. Let's Head back in and head down the other side of the roundabout. 
We got the jack. That's a uh, big one for today, I think. And then our fire axe. Alright, we'll make our way back this way. Got one runner. Ooh, we got an ambulance up there. Alright, run her down. Pretty cool day overall, 30 degrees. See if it's actually keeping us cool, all this rain. Uh, skin temperature, no, it's still pretty warm. We are fairly wet, but yeah, we're still pretty warm. Must have some effect, but it doesn't seem to be. Whole lot. Get your knife. Let's grab that just in case we want to get into spears. Let's see if we can call this guy over. Dismantling these watches as well. I want to take a look at that ambulance for sure. Nice, more cigarettes. Walkie talkie will dismantle back home. Shotgun and another nightstick. Perfect. All right, let's uh, unload that. Let's rack that. Drop it. Another kitchen knife. And beta blockers. Excellent. Moderate rain. So we got up here. Snag that battery. There we go, another tire jack. And a trauma bag. Scalpel. Oh. <gasps> Helicopter's here already. Day five. I, I thought we'd still have another couple days. Uh oh. This is bad. I need to get off the street. This is bad. I thought we did another, another couple of days. I should have listened to the radio. We're going to this house. It's already seen us, but... I just need to get out of here for the... Sprinters and whatnot. Is this it? Oh shit, there's one there. Ow. 
should have been more proactive. That's full. Oh man, this is bad. Hunter magazines, take that. Assuming we can make it out of here. Okay, let's open this. There's an escape there. We can escape there. Let's get all these escape points ready to go. Alright, drink. Fill up water. Showed up like what, 12 30 ish? Let's see how long it lasts. I mentioned the radio too before we left. <laughs> but I didn't. Didn't opt to sit down and wait and listen. I thought for sure we'd have it until at least day seven. Day six. All right, let's just sit down. Uh, let's have up. Yeah, they're outside. Actually, maybe sit in the bathroom. All right, it's gone. If it comes back. Yep, yeah, it's coming back. Tell that. Good wise, I think we're okay. That. That away. And if anything, I guess it happened early afternoon. This gives us hopefully enough time to get back before nightfall. Once this is done. Yeah, we're just gonna be waiting here. So we could wash up while we're waiting. Our first bath in a week. So, and I guess we're not, uh, I mean, we're across the street from our base. I mean, it's better than being at the base, I guess. But this will be, uh, this will be interesting. But finally, we're clean. Alright, let's wait to see what happens here. Uh oh, 3.30. Just had our first thumping up the uh, barricades. Let's come back for another pass again. Alright, cause for concern now. Can't, oh it's at the front door. Okay, well, let's wait and see what happens here. Okay, 4.40. Been about a half hour since the helicopter was last above us. We've got more thumping on the garage now. Don't think it's coming back. We're gonna wait maybe till like 5.10. It'll be almost a full hour since it was overhead. Usually if you can make it an hour in between passes, then you're good. And we'll come back. 
Uh, but that was about a four hour event. I'm starting to get bored. Just be careful exiting here. So we know they're on that door. Yeah, so we got shake there. Means we might be okay to jump out. Well, we could try going down. So you know, jump out a second story window. Doesn't look like they're inside. Yeah, I suppose we might as well. Oh no, we'll come back. We're full. Let's just kill this one. It's not swarm, that's good. Five twenty, no helicopter, I think we're good. Might as well kill this guy. Okay, and let's make our way back to our base now. 36 degrees. Quite warm. Alright. It doesn't look that bad. May have lucked out. Let's get back to the safe house. Or the spawn house. Not that much safer than any other house at the moment. Yeah, just the one outside. Okay, let's get inside here. And I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. We survived the helicopter. Could have been worse. Uh, we got another fire axe, we got our Tire Jack, which we will drop off here. Start doing some mechanic work in the next episode. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Check us out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash plays, as well as right here on YouTube where we stream daily. Um, we've also, uh, we'll also have an announcement on the Discord. Uh, I've been mentioning it the last couple episodes, but uh, it will be up shortly on details on how you can uh, submit your name to uh, join in on this season once it does get opened up to multiplayer. Um, we have, I think, s satisfied uh, where we're going to build the outpost into the city. I think we're going to do in the roundabout here. Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, we just need to pick a uh, point of interest to uh, build our main base at. So, kind of, we figured out where one of the tasks will be, which should be up there. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.